the madman. It's March. I achieved the rank of apprentice 30 in the uh, preseason for the pre-April season, I guess. Did I get anything cool for hitting 30? I don't know what that 360 dust is for, but nice. Uh, now we return to, I think, the best deck I have out of the three. Warlock. Just solid cards, low curve, and Jaraxxus at the end to potentially get that oomph over any mid-range or control decks I may run into at the end, should it get to that. I got a good feeling about this. I think we're going to go on a win streak. This deck looks good. The power of Lord Jaraxxus on my side. How can I lose? I think this deck is almost good enough to almost masquerade as a real constructed deck. It's really not that far off. Even against the silly secret paladin, I'm feeling pretty good. We've brought down our share of secret paladins on the way, but will this deck... Will this deck make it look easy? Oh, interesting. It's not Reckoning, because Reckoning would have killed Slaymimp. <laughs> okay, um, if that's Avenge, that becomes a 7-5. I can kill that, so that's good. Wait, almost huge misplay. In the case of get down, which seems to be the most likely, I would want the 3-5 to attack. No, it would be fine either way. Okay, that's the best case. Yeah, that's real good. Oh, another Valfiend. Nice. So that's just a silly horse. I have put my <laughs> imprisoned Valfiend in the worst spot, that's so sad. Oh my god. Very tragic. I'm gonna wife up. It's time for my daily Olgra check. Is Olgra costing three mana yet? No, still no. Still no as of the recording of this video. But by the time you're watching it, I'm sure it's been fixed. One's probably Avenge. I definitely want to kill this before any of them trigger. None of them have triggered, so this will go. Good. Don't tell me that works. Oh, wow. I'll break the Divine Shield, even though it's probably going to get rebroken. Fun. Uh, that one's the horse, of course. I think a watch post is great here. That was a mistake. Small misplay.
Just rank 30 place. It would be very embarrassing if I lost from here. Is he going for despair? Sad Paladin. The victory is yours. It's good enough to keep, right? Yes. <laughs> nice. No possessed a villager kill. Interesting. Very aggressive? No? Combo? Hmm. Cool. Watchtower uh, drew a spell and a coin. It's a good deal. I think that definitely demonstrates it is the OTK deck. Uh, my deck's gotten a little bit more fierce than the last time I unbelievably faced an OTK deck. Now, th it's interesting, by the way. Um, it has occurred to me that I've been facing some really good decks. Now, you might think that's the standard new player experience. Uh, you'd incorrectly think that. I don't want to uh, give off that impression by me potentially facing a lot of good decks. It is because I'm winning a lot. <laughs> So it's actually matching me up against good players. That's, uh, you know, to, to toot for my own horn. I, I have good MMR. It's true. Uh, I think if you lose more, you'll actually match up against the people who are, you know, still playing the basic uh, cards that aren't good and don't have a refined deck. Hopefully Cairn is aggressive enough to kill him before, you know, I die. But I think my deck's definitely quite a bit more aggressive than it used to be. So I actually have a chance at winning before he combos me out of this game. Hmm. I do think I should trade here. Because this is sticky. I need every damage I can get, but still. Uh, if this survives, like these two are sticky enough to maybe do the do enough damage at the end. That's a five attack, and that's two threes, so that's a eleven potentially. Uh, let's see. The magical breakpoint is also what was it twenty eight damage? I think three. Six, nine, three, six, twelve, twenty-four. Twenty-four, I think, is a magical break damage point for sometimes not dying to the, uh, sometimes not dying.
Look at two spells, add one to your hand, or overload one to get them both. I'm playing Jiraxis next turn, so I can't overload. And I think on this turn I just want to develop board. Uh, we want to make sure that this blocks my best minion, Dark Iron Dwarf. And hopefully we're not dead. What were the odds that I could find lethal as a warlock? I think as warlock you don't have very many uh, options to add damage now. There's no board buffing, there's no direct damage practically. Wicked Whispers. Oh, that would have been lethal, wouldn't it have been? Hmm, my bad then. Your next spell this turn has spell damage plus two. Oh no. No! <laughs> Pizza rank? Or orange rank? Fun fact! When I went to go to events with Crip, the pizzas he got generally looked like that. Vegan pizza, blah. Good combo. Dormant transfer student. De disincentivizing minions into the watch post. Even control locks tend to have some early game minions. Looks like it drew uh, two spells and a coin. That's pretty good. Alright, this might be a tough match. If it's control lock, it's gonna be control lock versus zoo. However, I have Lord Jaraxxus. The Great Equalizer. Now I too have the power. It's gonna be a little bit of a race to see who can get Mr. J out first. And I also have a potential win condition of killing him. I definitely got into the mode of playing against uh, top tier decks faster than I thought I would. But I'm up for the challenge. The decks are a little bit unrefined, it looks like. With a card like Void Drinker there. And I need to tap as frequently as possible to get to Mr. J. Could consider no, I don't want him to break my cairn. I don't want him to get a value trade. I want to get rid of my one health minions. I'm too vulnerable to school spirits. Yeah, that's the reason for trading.
Against control lock, these ring matrons and cairns actually are a bit of a headache to deal with. I'm gonna be riding on the 666 crew. So many possibilities. Hey, Mr. J, where are you? Control Warlock genuinely does not have great answers against death rattles that uh, summon more things, so... This just might work. And I was gonna play Man Crick, but I think tapping is too critical. Because if this doesn't work, I definitely need to get Mr. J. No answers one time. The only card that's in my deck that's any good left is Lord Jaraxxus. But that does mean that I've actually gotten the three best cards other than Mr. J against that deck. Karen, Double Ring Matron. Good. Not bad. Wait, he's still at 24. Ugh. Well, you know, relatively good. Good is relative. Nice. It's an impressive start to the... Zoo run again. Secret Paladin, OTK Demon Hunter, Control Warlock. Can we go three for three? I wonder. You and surprisingly, it is actually a bit of a surprise. This deck has some advantages over Zoo in that it has the stickier minions, which uh, this Control Lock is having issues clearing the Cairn and the two ring matrons. Oh, tough turn. But he's only got uh, four cards left. Okay. I want to go 4 2 2 2, I think. 4 6 8 10. And that would be tap. Special Ops Ooze is here. Wait, Ooze is a rare now. The fact that it's gold, what does that mean? Like, did I get that as a reward? Oh, he's running Hellfire. Okay. Yes, you're, uh, yes! You tutored me towards Lord Jaraxxus, you fool! And my wife. Oh, there goes my wife. Hmm. That's pr those are probably too slow, and I don't want the armor gain. I guess I'll just play this. This is it. This is the end. Unlucky. Jaraxxus bottom three. That's not too unlucky. Because it would have been unluckier if Jaraxxus were a little bit above. Good try, good try. You win this time. Hmm. 
But we got a burning blade art acolyte. Level 33 for that very critical watch post. Okay, we got a pack. Pack, pack, pack. Show me the path, pack. Interesting. It's a good card. <laughs> That's a good card. That's a good card. That's a good card. And that's a good card. Okay, five good card pack. Hmm. At this point, I am going to just assume that they are running good, uh, good deck, so that looks like it's going to be Libra and Paladin, but it could be any number of decks. Hmm, Yeti with Taunt. Not bad. This is really quite a zoo. There's only three spells in this deck. Whoa. I think I'll just play the sneaky. Expensive sneaky. When I play this and a banana on it, that's gonna be a three, six, rush wind fury. I need a plan for killing this thing. It's also possible I don't worry about the uh, far watch post. Maybe that's the play. Kill Mukla. Yeah, kill Mukla. I can take the, uh... I can take this. I can take the tax on this a little bit. Watch post paladin. Looks like some sort of some sort of defensive deck. I spy with my orcish eye. Cool. The opponent's actually running a bit of an original deck. We get to see just how much of an impact far watch post is gonna have in this game. Oh. Gotta pay my taxes here. Oh. Oh, that's right, the coil costs two mana. <laughs> oh, right. Huh. Two mana deal one damage. Oh. Yeah, it looks like I need the taunt here. That's cool. You got the two watch post, the three watch post, the three Mukla with the rally plan. My shield for Argon. We got an honest genius deck builder here. I like it. Reporting for duty. <laughs> Let's watch this guy's uh, free to play series instead. Nice. This game, I found out how painful paying taxes really can be. <laughs> ah! I'm crying. 
Yeah, well, that was a very amusing game. It's still good. It's still good. Oh, in fact, no minions now. Can uh, bypass the taxes. And then that's only... Need some damage off. Let's see... I need the minions fast. See? Just let the watch post sit there and do nothing. Brilliant. Oh. I was actually quite close to stabilizing. Womp womp. The nice thing is never mind. Hmm. Okay, cram session means that that deck plays minions, which might mean that this card will actually disincentivize him from playing minions. And the watchtowers will do something. <laughs> Actually played correctly. Mostly was playing around shooting star, kind of cold was, surprising. Oh, it's Spell Mage, but... I didn't know Cram Session was in Spell Mage. It probably isn't usually, right? It is, oh. How do you get the... do you just play it because, you know, there's nothing better to do? in some versions, apparently. They all run it because of studies. I see. They... It's in very few. Okay. Yeah, I figured. It didn't look like a great card in that deck. So it's a spell mage, but he's definitely running some uh, suboptimal cards here. But, you know, that's cool. Uh, I'm a zoo deck, just running a few suboptimal cards, as it should be. Oh dear. Now his uh, cards aren't suboptimal. So oh dear. can win. Mr. J. I got some sticky minions. Play the sticky minions into Mr. J. We can do this. The spells they get are completely random, so even though they're efficient, they may not actually serve the purpose. Oh. It's fine. It's fine. Good thing I traded. Keep up the pressure. What? And I guess that was pretty likely. Four, two, one, three. Yep. There we go. Oh, 
Your deck may have all the spells cost three less, but can you defeat six sixes every turn? Five, seven, so this one first. Five, seven, eight. I do need the armor more than he does, I think. Somehow we'll win the late game. <laughs> I was always a little bit uncertain of like, well, post deck of lunacy, how do you actually win? But I guess we're getting a uh, lesson up close here. Not bad. I'm uh, getting a lot of value out of Mr. J. Six, nine, he's at 19, I'd put down the 10. Uh, I feel like trading. I don't think I can afford to have uh, minions hitting me. So many cards! They keep going. So many of the cards draw cards now. So many of the cards are so good because all the bad cards got taken out of Classic. That's why Deck of Lunacy is pure lunacy now. My powers are never Next minion you draw inherits these powers. Okay, it's not bad for me. I will grind you to bits with Inferno. We can make it through. I've got to make it through. Oh no. Oh my goodness. What, there's more? This is lunacy! Okay, I actually think, against Warlock, I should keep Jaraxxus. I have the ultimate ace up my sleeve. My zoo deck shall keep the 9 drop. Nice draw. Okay. 
Nice draw. Worth paying four mana for. <laughs> ah! It's okay. I have Mr. J in my hand. The great equalizer. Who cares about anything else? I think I just want to make sure I tap each turn so that I can... Keep pace. Uh, post Jaraxxus world. I'll show these control warlocks. I can win. Arise, my champions. Cute play. I feel obliged to kill it and protect my health points. Okay, next turn's pretty straightforward. 4 2, tap. And then turn 9 is very straightforward. Good turn. You face Jaraxxus, and an armload of the Burning Legion. <laughs> Can my deck come out ahead here? It's fine. The burn doesn't matter. He got his Mr. J out first with the coin. Oh, that's huge that he decided to hit my face instead. Otherwise, I would have fallen too far behind on the board. As stands, I am probably still too far behind, but a glimmer of hope? I can do a total of 4, 7, 10, 12 damage. He has 14 health on the board. Uh, I could do 13. I need this to buff the 3-5. I definitely want to play Ooze. 2-6. I guess we'll just do this. We'll let the 8-8 hit me. Whatever. Time for twisting hero power. Sadness. His answers are better than mine. No. And I could have the answers in my own deck. I wonder if it's time to transition. I do have the double cascading myself. Hmm. I do actually have three watch posts now.
I wonder though, actually, seeing these possessed villagers in my hand, like with people actually playing OTK decks and Control Paladin and Spell Mage, that possessed villager just might be too low impact. It's good against aggro, but that's about it. Maybe I transition this into some sort of mid-range warlock deck. Mind if I roll need? Hmm. We can rebuild it, we can make it better, and we can put in that 5 mana 4-6 which no one uses in their decks. My powers are never truly gone. The discard a... Force the opponent to discard a card minion. Or the mid-range... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Three mana, five, seven. To be fair, I didn't have to play Coil there. And I knew there was a decent chance it was a three drop, but you know, that that's still unlucky. Wah. Okay, this is cool though. This opponent's playing a... Uh, looks like a hodgepodgey deck himself. Which is not an insult. It's just an observation that it's not a top tier deck. Just like mine is not. Uh, I should play this. That book had plus two spell damage. Incredible. Why didn't ditch class to get second place? Oh yeah, I can see how, in theory, there would be nothing fun- Did that card just glow when it drew? I guess that's the plus two spell damage effect. You want it? It. Cool. So you know whenever they draw a minion. Miss target. But yeah, it, playing these Cairns and Ring Matrons, uh, they've been demonstrating to me the possibility of perhaps. Oh my god, I actually wanted this to get developed! Ah, he dodges! <laughs> Whatever. Out of an ample amount of caution, uh, I played around. Oh. Mirror entity.
I played around Mirror Entity and I also played around uh, another Netherwing. Netherwind. But surprise, Oasis Ally. Hmm. This is actually a pretty intense free-to-play match. Both slinging like just decent card decks. It's glorious. See, there's like actually something to this mid-range deck. It's a little sticky against the control warlocks and other control decks. Maybe there really is something there. Maybe? I'm so dumb! Wall <laughs> order! Oh no! Still the right card to take and, you know, just play it near last if I need it. Okay, so this is going to be going into the bold unknown where I attempt to build a mid-range warlock deck 